The ultimate goal of jiu-jitsu is to submit your opponent, as this results in an immediate and indisputable defeat. The last DVD of this competition series covers traditional submissions. We will also focus on variations in some more advanced positions as well. Hoyler is fighting here in the Munjiles. Once he has trapped the opponent's arm, Hoyler sets the pace of the match. He applies great pressure on the opponent. This one obviously knows that Hoyler can go for the arm lock at any time. The opponent offers great resistance, but cannot avoid the submission. This demonstrates very well how effective the armbar is from the across side position. The way Hoyler sets up this arm lock from the across side position is not common. It is an advanced position that can be difficult to achieve. However, you will often find the opportunity to set it up, especially right after passing the guard. This is a great technique to add to your game as it will surprise many opponents. At the beginning of the position, your main focus should be the control of the opponent's arm and elbow. The position requires you to be very tight in order to cancel the opponent's escape attempts. You should also maintain your balance according to the opponent's movements. From the cross side position, you grab the opponent's right arm under the elbow. Your right hand secures your own lapel. The control of the opponent's arm has to be very tight. This is the key point that will allow you to complete the position. You then put your right knee on the opponent's stomach or rib cage. This will prevent him from coming to the top. You bring your left leg over the opponent's head while maintaining pressure on the arm. You then fall back and place your right leg over the opponent's body and achieve the submission. Note how Hoyler closes his elbow very tight on the opponent's arm with his hand on his own collar. Hoyler's left hand is placed close to the opponent's head for better control. This hand also gives support to pass the leg over the opponent's head. In order to achieve this submission, the opponent's thumb should point up to the ceiling. You should drive up your pelvis into the opponent's elbow. Keep your knees close together while lifting up your hips. By lifting up your hips, you make it almost impossible for the opponent to escape. This also achieves the leverage needed to hyperextend the opponent's elbow for the submission. Now let's go back to the competition footage. Right after passing the guard, Hoyler has trapped the opponent's left arm from side control. In the competition, Hoyler couldn't obtain a perfect control of the opponent's elbow. Hoyler explains that you sometimes need to take risks in a fight. Once you have set up the submission, you should be confident and go for it with all your determination. Hoyler puts great pressure on the opponent to slowly improve the control of the arm. Note that Hoyler is also trapping the arm with the help of his right thigh. The opponent starts to bridge and then tries to come on top with all of his power to prevent the arm lock. But Hoyler has solid control of the opponent's body and he achieves a submission that leads to the victory.